Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I am from thesupportzone.com and the thesupportzone.com offers bookkeeping services to small business owners. So with the help of today's video, we are going to see how we can download an older version of Quicken. Okay, there is only one version available to download for Quicken, which is Quicken 2013. Okay, and uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can download it because recently one of my clients called me. She was using an older edition, like she was using either 2009 or 10, and I upgraded her to 2013. And uh, she was really kind of not want to go to the subscription based product but she wants to use quicken and continue with the same data something with the latest edition so that's what i found over the internet how we can upgrade the quicken uh, from the older version to quicken 2013 okay so let me go ahead and show you how you can also do it okay and this is one of the very first videos on our youtube channel about Quicken. Slowly and rapidly, we are going to get more videos on Quicken. So let's go ahead and start with this one. So first, what we are going to do, we are going to simply search for download Quicken 2013. Okay, that's what I will going to download. I mean, going to search. And uh, this is the first option I am getting at the moment, how to install Quicken 2013. Okay, this is something I can say it is a community. It is an online community for Quicken users if you have any doubts or discussions you would like to do you can go to quicken website and do this join this community in order to do all kind of discussions and all that okay so in order to download the older version of quicken 2013 here is an article okay let me close this previous one and this is the article that you can use in order to download quicken 2013 all right for this article the link is also mentioned in the description box you can click on that link and you can come on this article page in order to download 2013 you can see this is an article and here what we are going to do we are going to download here is the link download quicken 2013 for windows an important update this video is only focus on quicken for windows users okay quicken for mac does not work in this case only quicken 2013 for windows is available or the internet to download so you can see quicken 2013 is downloaded so let's go ahead and click on it to launch and uh, let's go ahead and you can see it is installing let me click on next let me accept the license and agreement here let me click on next again and i would like to like install the quicken on this location this is the default location my recommendation is to keep the same one otherwise you can change it by clicking on here all right then click on next again and then click on install it will going to take like a couple of minutes three to five minutes to download in the meantime you can have a cup of coffee and the download and the installation will continue to move forward all right and uh, apart from this one more thing which i would like to mention i also provide quicken bookkeeping services okay so in case you're interested for some kind of a quicken bookkeeping help or anything related to quicken i can also help you out with that okay the website link or the quicken bookkeeping services link is also mentioned in the same description box you can click on that and you can check everything all right so quicken is installed you can see it here so it is already checked so let's click on done to open quicken and you can see it says it is asking us for two options i am a new user or i have used quicken before but i want to start over and second option is i have used quicken before and i want to open an existing quicken file we are going to go with the first option but let me tell you one thing for the second option here which is very important as it is quicken 2013 for windows you cannot downgrade your product or downgrade your data from an upgraded versions of quicken 2013 to uh to 2013 edition let's say you are using quicken 2020 uh, like a subscription based edition and you do not want to continue that product you want to downgrade or something like that generally users try to do this so that's what i'm telling you no need to do that please otherwise you may get stuck in between some kind of a big problem okay and uh, if you are using an 
older version prior to the 2013 edition you can simply you can say simply restore the data into this edition and then start using it and afterwards it will be your take if you would like to upgrade or stick with the same one all right for this video purpose i'm going to go ahead and click on i am a new user so let's click on get started here and here we go it is asking us to register the product that's what i'm not gonna do at the moment okay i will gonna click on register later all right and you can see this is old quicken 2013 i really like old versions of quicken users are really loyal to quicken i know this thing i have been helping clients since 2017 for quicken as well so i know how they are loyal to this product but just because of the subscription thing they are just kind of nervous or something like that but they are still using this product and you can see everything can be accessible without any problem here you can open the accounts let me quickly go ahead and show you how you can add an account like a manual account an important thing here you cannot do anything online in quicken 2013 let me tell you till 2017 quicken was a non-subscription based edition so all the editions prior to that is are also unsupported they are no longer supported by the parental company for a quick update intuit was a parental company of quicken till 2016 and after 2016 they sold the quicken to a private company and afterwards they are managing this quicken product and they are making all the changes but nowadays quicken is no longer a part of intuit so here let's go ahead and let me show you how you can add an account in quicken like it is a manual way that's what we are going to do let's see you have a checking account you just click on checking here and you would like like you need to choose one of your accounts here i mean choose one of your bank names here let's say my bank name is wells fargo bank i just click on that and uh, you can see it here we could not get information about wells fargo bank the account will be set up as a manual account okay because as this product is unsupported so it will going to be get set up manually so let's click on okay and i will gonna give a name like wells fargo check okay just to like make me remember like this is a checking account for wells fargo bank let me click on next and uh, this is what you need to find out you need to visit your bank's website and the ending date of your last statement or if i say the latest statement and the ending balance of that and whatever the ending balance here it is going to be an opening balance of quicken register i will show you here let's say my statement ending balance is one thousand dollars and uh, let's say i would like to start ending balance of july 2024 okay 31st of july 2024 and the ending balance till that day is thousand dollars let me click on next and let me click on finish now you can see on the left hand side this bank account is showing us so you can see here now as i said it was asking us for the closing balance from your bank which you can check by your statement but now it is an opening balance in quicken register you can see it here it is a one thousand dollars deposit till 31st of july 2024 let's say on 1st of august i made transaction let's say i spent something on costco okay it is a retail chain and i spent near about you can say hundred dollars over there for some groceries and all that product and you can see and then click on save and you will be able to see this thing here now our balance is nine hundred dollars and our payment which we spent i mean which we the money we spent it is hundred dollars and that's how you can keep track of your records menu if you want to do this on uh, these kind of jobs for you you can call me i can do these kind of jobs for you as i help clients with bookkeeping stuff so i can do it easily for you like it is just i'm giving you a reference i have done the same job in the past with several clients it doesn't matter how many number of transactions you do in a month i will do keep track of your information either you are using old quicken or the new quick so that's how you can track your records with the help of this you can also create reports you can do all these things that's what we are going to cover in the upcoming video all right so this was all about this video where we saw how we can download and install older version of quicken and how you can keep track of your personal finance if you have any doubts any kind of questions related to this video you can comment me below i will try my best to answer them also as i mentioned if you need any assistance related to quicken or a quickbooks software please call me or email me i mean i can show you this information this is my website you can check my website okay and this is my contact number you can call me on this number in case i'm not available on this phone call uh, because sometimes 
clients. I am working with the other clients. So you can also drop me an email on this email address. Okay. And I will going to respond to it as soon as I receive. All right. So that was it. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you.